Bachelor along with my partner known as Paul Epic. And we're here to give you the season wrap up and the season preview of the Brewers and going into the rest of this upcoming weekend. Uh, my little amount of half of the wrap up again is the good offense but against a bad team. Um, I guess, you know, what I tell people is we should beat up on the bad team to go about 500 against the good ones. And so far, the Cardinals are doing that. Yep, agreed. Uh, yeah, like you said, beat up on a bad team. Uh, Rosenthal had a rough outing one night, but that's going to happen. I don't blame anybody for that. Um, so, yeah, series win, m- momentum going in the Reds series. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, starting pitchers for the Reds. He's uh, in Tim Melville is starting the first game. Brandon Finnegan, old Kansas City runner, was one of their top prospects. He was, starting, he was training to the Reds starting now. He's now like a two hitter a couple weeks ago or something like that. And then John Moscott starts third game coming off the DL. Yep, and for the Cardinals, uh, Carlos Martinez will be starting on Friday. Uh, Adam Wainwright will race on Saturday, and Michael Waka will be going for the uh, third game on Sunday afternoon. Notable injuries, and this should be normal if you pay attention to baseball. Homer Bailey, again, is injured. I feel like this happens like 15 times a year. He throws a one star and then, like, I don't know, has a hangout when he's on the deal again. Um, and then Zachary Kozart is out again. So uh, Suarez is actually starting for him. Um, injuries for us, uh, there's no, there's nobody getting injured, although, uh, Ruben Tejada might be back, uh, this weekend from, uh, his injury, but, uh, if not, then there's a more than capable replacement in Diaz. Yeah, and then also just to, just to kind of get a little sneak preview, I want to talk about that more in the podcast, um, about who's going to go down, who's going to stay up kind of thing, just to see where things go from there. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be actually a really good discussion to, uh, Talk about um, the who's hot is Suarez. Actually, their backup shortstop, he's been great again. Uh, I haven't watched any of the Reds games. You know, obviously, Cardinal guys. So I watch Cardinal games, but um, Suarez, from what I've seen in the past, he's good uh, defensively. Apparently, he's good offensively. He's hitting a whole bunch of diggers. Um, so yeah, that's who's hot for the Reds. Uh, for the Cardinals, it's pretty pretty simple. It's uh, Jeremy Hazelbaker. Um, he's in the uh, Brewers series. He was seven for twelve with three RBIs and two runs. Uh, him and Randall Gritchick are the guys producing most in the lineup. So, which is weird because Randall Gritchick was there for a while was on like a real cold streak. It's nice to see yeah. him finally uh, get where he needs to go. I'm kind of uh, happy about to see that. Um, and then the who's not hot really is basically the rest of the Reds team. No one's really performing too well. I mean, you got. I mean, if you're a Reds fan, you see this. Jay Bruce is going to put up his numbers. Joey Wilde is going to play his. I don't know if it looks well. I don't know he's like 40 years old now, but he's still a good defensive second baseman, so he'll do that for you. But yeah, I mean, the rest of the team really is not super hot, but they're not real cold. They're, I mean, they're, you know, real bad. Um, the Cardinals, it's got to be Colton Wong. You know, I say, I feel like we say that name a lot uh, this year. Um, Brewer Series, was 0 for 7. Uh, he did not play on Wednesday because he had to clear his head. At least that the reason was given to us. And so far in the season, he's about 200, uh, and he's committed three errors in the field, too. So offensively and defensively, he's not with it right now. Yeah, and those errors are weird because they always seem like they're the plays that are like right at it. All he's got to do is glove it, take it to the hand, and throw. All the other plays he does good at. It's just the plays right at him. He's got trouble with you, and I don't know why. It's really weird. Um, so with the predictions, I won again with the 2-1. to one. So Sadly. Uh, Paul picked the sweep, and I picked two to one, and I won. So I have two and zero on the season. I'm laughing your face, Paul. We'll see. It's still <laughs> April. It's still April. <laughs> season's still young. Yet. Season's still young. Um, okay, so then my predictions for this series is going to be again. I think the Cardinals go two and one. I think the first two guys on the most trouble is going to be Finnegan. Um, he's really good. I don't know. He pitched a great outing his last time out, so I think Finnegan's going to give us the most trouble. Um, you know, just, I agree with you in the two to one, but you know, I can't agree with you here because we need to have something to go off of. Um, so I, I'm going to say that they sweep. You can actually um, go two to one because if they do two to one, we both win. We'll both get a point. Okay. Fair enough. Then I'll go two to one then. That, that's mm-hmm. fair. Cause I agree with you on, on, on Finnegan. I think he's a really good young pitcher, but, um, in the Cubs have absolutely pummeled the Reds. So the Reds have no m- momentum coming in and the Cardinals do. Um, so I'm going to go 2-1 as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Well, this has been the season wrap up of the uh, Brewers going into the series preview of the Reds. Hope you guys tune in to watch your hometown birds play this weekend. I know I will. Um, uh, stay tuned for the podcast and then stay tuned for the next season wrap up or the series wrap up and uh, series preview. And then we'll see you guys next time. Uh, my name is Tyler Schneider. And I'm Paul Eppie. We'll see you uh, on Sunday night. Bye, guys.